Hey guys, it's KJ4E, and welcome to our brand new Let's Play for Civilization V Brave New World. This is going to be the sixth season of my Civilization V videos, and it's going to be episode one. Now, I just want to start off right away that's saying I have not played Civ V in forever. Um, I'm pretty noobified at this point. I'm going to try and learn and help educate you guys as best I can, but, you know, it's going to be tough because I haven't played this in a long time, and I haven't played Brave New World at all. Alright, I have decided to start with Poland. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the help menu right now. And we're going to look at Poland. Okay. And uh, they start with... Oh, what's their... Well, first of all, let me show you what I started off on. I'm playing Poland. Uh, okay, here we go. Their special ability is Solidarity. Uh, they receive a social policy when they advance to the next era. Pretty decent. Uh, I'm playing on Pangea map. I'm playing on Standard. Prince Difficulty and Quick Pace. I also have... Disable start bias and uh, save policies. I can't think of any other any other things that I did to the game. Um, oh, and legendary start. All right, we're gonna look right here at the resource icons I have on. See right there, I have resource icons on. Show me where all the special resources are, and I have yield icons on to show me the yields. Uh, when I build cities, I will also turn on the hexagon. Thing, just so I can really get an idea where I want my cities to go. Uh, but for most gameplay, I'm going to leave it off because it doesn't look that good. Alright, so let's go to Poland. Okay, so Poland has a unique unit. Let's look at the Winged Hussar. Um, heavily mounted units specialized in defending uh, in defeating enemy mounted units. Okay, so it's a mounted unit that is special specialty is to kill other mounted units. This unit is faster and more powerful than the Lancer, which it replaces. Forces defenders to retreat when it inflicts more damage than it receives. May only be built by the Polish. Okay, so if he does more damage to the other player, they are forced to retreat. That's pretty interesting. Um, and it replaces the Lancer, which is a very offensive unit. Uh, not very defensive at all. Alright, so let's go back and let's look at its unique building. We have Ducal Stable. Unique Polish stable replacement, uh, replaces the stables. 15% production and 15 experience for mounted units. So it looks like th this, uh, in the early game, they want me to make a lot of mounted units with these guys. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, each pasture worked by the city produces plus one production and plus one gold. So we're going to want to get two pastures as soon as possible in our tech tree. And I don't quite remember how to do that, but we'll figure it out. All right, so there we go. And we're gonna do. We're gonna settle where we start. I always do that. Settle right there. And we're gonna look at some of the uh, top left hand side. Some of the numbers up here. <laughs> we know what science is. That's nothing new. Gold is nothing new. Okay, right here uh, is trade units. Uh, part of Brave New World is you have trade units. Uh, I don't know anything about it. We're gonna learn that together. Happiness we know. Uh, the higher happiness, the quicker you get into a golden age. Uh, when you get into a golden age, you produce one extra gold for each tile that produces gold. And you get 20% 20, 20 production and power wide. That's pretty de decent. I'm usually not good happiness because I like to expand a lot. Uh, policies, we know about that. All right, so this is uh, great work slots. I have no idea what that is. Let's click on that. Uh, by the way, I did, I did turn off the sound in the game and the any kind of... Uh, any kind of voice acting just because this game is notorious for getting hit with copyright, so... Okay, culture overview. The culture overview screen allows you to track and manage your culture and tourism. Tourism is new to me as well. You can move your great works from building to buildings as well as track your level of tourism versus other players. Essential in the culture of victory. Uh, that's another thing. I You don't win in my games with anything but domination. I, I, don't, I don't like culture of victory. I don't like science victory. I don't like any of that crap. I turned it all off. Uh, but still, this is pretty cool. You can actually get like great works of art, like paintings like the Mona Lisa and stuff like that. And you can move them from city to city. I'm not quite sure what it does for you, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And we don't have anything there, so. And the last one is uh, Faith. Now, Faith was brought in and Faith was brought in uh, in the last expansion, which was uh, God and Kings. And uh, I kind of know a little bit about it. You want you got to, you got to like get your, 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 your faith going, and then you found a pantheon, and then you found a religion. You can spread your religion. People try and spread your, spread your religion on you. Uh, so I don't really do too much with it, but I will I will dabble in religion because it does give you some, some benefits. 
All right, the first thing we're going to make is easy. That's going to be a scout. And for research. Now, the first thing we want to research is animal husbandry would be good for the pastures for my bonus building. Um, but the first thing we're going to need is salt. And, okay. So, for those of you who don't know, salt and marble are luxury resources. Every time you build a city, uh, every time your population grows, your happiness goes down. If your happiness gets under uh, zero, then... Uh, everything like slows down not production but growth uh, it basically kind of self corrects itself it'll like slow down the growth I guess I'll go over some of this because some of you guys might not be aware of this this is the population in the city population of one we will grow in four turns okay the little star means it's my capital and right here is the guy I am actually producing if we go into the city we go to uh, city management we could set all kinds of focus i usually don't mess around with this window because this is some micromanagement i'm not really you know prepared to do but who knows maybe if i keep playing this game keep doing more seasons if i want to up the difficulty i am gonna have to micromanage this stuff a little bit but for now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bother okay uh we got some warriors here oh okay so choose research let's do that first so in order to work the, in order to get more happiness so we can expand, because every time you build a city, it's going to lower your happiness, we need to work these tiles. And if you look right there, I mouse over salt, it says requires mining. Well, yeah, it does, it requires mining. So I need to research mining. And over here is my other luxury resource, which is marble, and that requires masonry. So we got to remember that. Now, there are some, uh, res lux there are some resources over here with the little, you know, a little circle but these if you mouse over them you see they're not luxury resources they're basic resources right here banana is a basic resource deer is a basic resource salt is a luxury resource that's where you get the happiness from so uh let's just do mining i think masonry is after mining we can bring up the, the civilization tab here and uh, masonry is right here so if i click on masonry it'll do mining and then masonry and that's what we're gonna do and now we're going to have to scout. Now there's many reasons to scout in this game. Uh, you want to know where barbarians are, maybe meet other civilizations. Uh, one thing that's new in this game, at least to me, is the more civilizations you meet, the faster your science will grow. Something like, I think if you meet a civilization that has a technology you do not have, you get a boost to your science. Something like that. I, I don't remember exactly how it works. But you want to meet other civilizations. You also want to meet city-states. City-states are... Kind of, like there's civilizations in the game that are not trying to win the game. They don't, they don't build more than one city. They just keep their one city, and you can trade with them, make friends with them. You can take them over. You could do a lot of different things with them. We want to meet them too. If you meet them, you get 15 gold, and if you if you're the first person to meet them, you get 30 gold. Also, there's things in this game called uh, ruins, and if you find a ruin, you get you get bonuses, uh, which are really really strong early game. You can get like a population bonus. You can get um, a policy bonus. You can get a lot of different things, and that's what we're really going to be looking for. Now, the reason I'm making a scout is because scouts can go through uh, rough terrain like forest and stuff very quickly. Warriors, if you try and go through forests or jungles, you can only move one spot. Okay, now you can see right here, I'm holding down the right mouse button on my warriors. The little blue line shows where my warriors can go. Now you can see right here, if I move my warrior here, that he can move two spots. If I move him here, he can only move one because the jungle slows him down. Um, debating, I kind of want to keep my warriors in open terrain. This down here doesn't look very open. This does. So I think I'm going to just move them up. And anytime they cross a river, they automatically, that's their last turn. So let's move them right there. And that's it for our first turn. Let's go to the next. Now this game is a uh, hella fun. I've done five seasons of it. I, I love it. I'm surprised it took so long to get back to it. I have not been overly enthralled with the uh, with the expansions. I haven't really loved them because I like domination. The expansions are seem to be mostly about different ways to win that don't include domination. So, oh, that's a good spot. Oh my god, look at that spot. All right, we are. <laughs> I think I see my my second city. I'm usually an expansionist, but I'm gonna try and be a little careful with that. We'll see how that goes. Man, a lot of rough terrain in here. This is gonna be an this is gonna be an incredible city. Oh my god! Look at look at the the food. Look at the look at the production. Oh my goodness! The one thing I don't see is a lot of gold. Okay, I just found a natural wonder. Now, congratulations! The discovery of a the Great Mesa has increased happiness for the Empire. Every time you you find a natural wonder, you get plus one happiness right off the bat. If I work this natural wonder, I will get two production. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, that is a sick place. I'm gonna get a settler out as soon as possible. Okay, oh, now she might be... She might be actually... Now, she would be talking, but I turned off the voice. I don't think the voice would get you hit for copyright, but just in case, you know, I turned it off. My, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Man, you look like a hooker. Uh, what may I call you, oh mysterious stranger? I am Theodora, beloved of... I probably shouldn't be reading this, because I'm going to butcher these names. Uh, Byzantium. Sounds like a, a mineral. Okay, well, good for you. Declare war! No, just kidding. Okay, so that's a problem, because I met her over here, and I'm afraid she's going to start expanding over here. Uh, I was not going to go for hardcore expansion, but I'm going to now. Hardcore expansion. I need this area. This is... Look at her. She's right there. Oh, my God. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, and there's... Oh, that's her. Okay. Oh, my God. We need to get the spot. And she's going to get pissed off, too. She's going to get really pissed off. We have silver there. We need that spot. We need to get a settler out. You can't start making a settler until you're at two population. Now, normally, I wouldn't make a settler right now. And it's probably crazy, but I'm going to make a settler. Now, whenever you make a settler, your population automatically drops to zero. You cannot... You can't get any more growth. You will not grow while you're making settlers. So this this uh, tile right here being worked is, is pointless. So right now, my settler will be done in 10 turns, and my growth is zero. So anyone working food is pointless. So we're going to go production focus. And it didn't change anything. Um, well, let's take him off. Um, I need as much production as possible. Let's take him off and put him right here. Nine turns. And that's all the production I'm gonna get. See, it doesn't it doesn't affect the food uh, at all because you can't grow anyway. And that's the most production I could possibly get here. I could probably buy that tile. You could buy tiles. You can only work this area around your city, and your city will grow as you get culture. Six turns until gro border growth, and it shows you the spots where it's gonna possibly grow. Now you could buy tiles if you have the money, but I don't. So. Uh, all right, a unit needs orders. Let's um, let's scout down here. See, what we got down here. It looks like it might be the end, but we'll see. I would never, ever suggest making a settler until you have at least three population. So, oh, we got a lot of good, good area. We okay. We got a free technology for discovering the ruins. That's one thing you can get. And we got Animal Husbandry, which is, you know, it's a pretty good one. Now, these are Barbarians. Barbarians are computer-controlled players that are not part of the game. They're just there uh, to mess with you. Uh, if they get to one of your settlers or a worker and you're not there, you will... Oh, my God, there's horses here. Oh, this is an incredible spot. That's an incredible spot. She's going to be pissed if I settle there, too, but tough shit, lady. Tough. The only thing is, there's not a lot of gold in this area. Now, I thought gold would be on rivers. Um, I thought a river uh, always has a gold gold next to it, but I'm not seeing gold in a lot of these rivers. Uh, gold is going to be an issue, I think. What did I, what did I find? What did I find? Crap, what he, I shouldn't have clicked off that. I don't know what he found. Oh, well. Whatever. Alright, so you're going to do a little bit of... You know what? You're not even going to scout. You're just going to stay here. Uh, I'm going to build the city. You can build a city within four tiles of another city. And it's, it's usually a good idea. I like to crowd my cities. Let's see where we're going to build this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Where's the gold tiles? Like, I literally don't see any gold tiles. It's kind of weird. We should build it right here. So we can get that. Yeah, we're going to need gold. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, right there. Okay, next turn. Man, she is going to be so mad. And when you build next to civilizations, they get really pissed and they come after you. Uh, let's see. Alright, so they're standing in my way, so we'll just skip that turn. Wait for her to move, and then we're going to move up there. We're going to get this whole area. Um, again, I don't see a lot of gold. I don't know what is going on with that. Like I said, last time I played, they were, it seemed like there was a lot more gold on the map. Maybe they nerfed the gold a little bit. I don't know. It's going to be a problem, I think. Uh, production and food is not going to be. But gold might be. All 
Alright, ruins. Very nice. And for you, you can, uh, if you hit, you can either fortify, which the unit remains inactive until the player provides it new orders. The unit receives a defensive bonus. Uh, explore, or there's, I thought there was a option to have them fortify until they see an enemy unit. But, I don't know. No, we'll just fortify. Maybe they, maybe if they see an enemy unit now, it's like automatic. Again, I haven't played this game in quite a while. Actually, wait, is that her borders or is that a river? I can't tell. You know what? I could I could look. Oh, that's not her borders. Okay, I'm all worried for nothing. All right. Uh, in, oh God, we uh we got a population boost. It went from two to three. Oh, that could not have worked better. Oh, except now my scouts are right next to barbarians. Barbarian scouts get murdered by barbarians. Hopefully, they won't mess with me. We'll see. It's just a culture overview. Okay. Let's get out of there. Alright, well you're still going to stay there because... Now, again, I don't see the gold. I could have swore last time I played there would always be a gold tile on a river. I don't know what I'm missing there. It doesn't seem like there's gold tiles on rivers anymore. There should be a gold tile... There should be a gold... By the way, for those of you who don't know, the green apples are stand for food. One of each. There's two food on that tile. One hammer is one production. One gold is one gold. And usually there would be gold on rivers and on uh, coastal areas. Maybe maybe I have to do a I have to do a research or something. That could be it. I don't know. And they've changed a lot. So, but I better find some gold. Or I'm gonna be in trouble. All right. So we're gonna fortify you. I have met the city state of Ur. <laughs> er, or your. Is that your or er? I don't know. It's er. That's pretty funny though. Alright, well, let's go on down here. By the way, if you go on city states uh, borders, like if you go inside their borders, they get really pissed off. City states have like, someone founded a pantheon, uh, which means that they are going to found a religion soon. One, two, three, four. Yeah, go right there. Alright, choose production. Now, the, rushing out that settler might have been a bad mistake now. Because I thought that she was there. That might have been a mistake. We'll see. Uh, we're definitely going to need a worker. In order to upgrade these tiles, these in order to build on these salt tiles, we need a worker. And that will up our happiness. And now that we're about to settle another city, our happiness is going to come into come into being a problem. Uh, this starting area is ridiculous, though, so far. Okay, so there's a barbarian. We cannot defeat him, so let's run away. Research. Okay, so we got to research. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure what I should research. Uh, did I do animal? I got animal husbandry for free. Alright, so we can start looking at wonders. Wonders are really, really strong buildings that only one person in the game can build, and once they build it, nobody else can. Uh, you know what? Let's go for pottery. I'm going to build a shrine, because I want to start getting my, uh, my religion going. All right, we got our first policy. Okay, so what are we gonna go for? We need gold. We need gold. Uh, we can't do commerce yet, though. So the two I usually look at is tradition, that's best for small empires, or liberty, which is best for big empires. Now, uh, this is a pretty small map. It's a normal map, but it's pretty small compared to what I usually play. So I'm not really sure which one I want to go for. Let me let me think on this. Okay, I'm not really sure which one to go with, but I'm gonna go with liberty. Uh, Liberty is best for rapid expansion. I, now, normally I'm a big I'm a big component of rapid expansion, but this is a normal map, which is a lot smaller than I'm used to playing. But it still might be a bigger map than I'm giving it credit for. We're probably going to fill out this entire tree. We're going to go Republic, which is plus one production in every city and 5% production in cities when constructing buildings. Citizenship, the improve, improvement construction rate increased by 25%, and a worker appears near the capital. Uh, collective rule, speeds the training of settlers. I'll probably make a beeline for this. Uh, by 50% in the capital, and a free settler appears near the capital. Okay, so it's only in the capital. Uh, Venice receives a merchant of Venice instead of a settler. Representation. Each city you found will increase the culture cost uh, of policies by 33% less than normal. Every time you build a city, your culture cost goes up, and this is going to make that go up by less. And then, uh, merit meritocracy. 
plus one happiness for each city you own connected by to the capital and negative five percent unhappiness from citizens in non-occupied cities yeah we're gonna go with liberty all right so return to map next turn All right. Uh, people like shiny things the most. I actually have the most gold, which is really weird because I don't see a lot of gold on the map. But uh, ruins explored. You have found. Okay, so I got the culture boost, which is really good. That means I'm gonna get another policy pretty pretty quickly. Uh, let's explore this way. All right, settler build, and we are now at zero happiness. Um, not much we can do about that. We're going to have to take out this barbarian camp, though. Uh, I'm just going to fortify for now and protect against it. Um, uh, barbarians can now take your cities as well, so we really have to be careful about that. I forgot about that. All right, let's build a monument. The monument's going to give us more culture. Next turn. All right, so... We're going to have this guy in four turns. City growth is going to be in three. We're definitely going to go into negative happiness, which is which is a shame. I'm not the best... Uh, oh, we found another... Oh, good. Now we're not going to go into negative happiness. We found another... Uh, we found another uh, natural wonder. Uh, maybe we should buy that just in case. I don't know what's... You know, let's explore what's on the other side. I don't want anyone to get that but me. Okay, so we could do something else. We could go to honor, Okay. Uh, now, honor is basically for war nations, which I'm going to be, but um, I don't know if I like these policies. Uh, they might have actually changed honor from the last time I played. So why don't you give me a second, and I'm going to check out honor and see if there's something in there I might want to actually take. So, bear right back. Okay, I don't quite think honor is worth it. The only thing I really like about it is professional army. Uh, now, anytime you build an army in this game, it costs money, it costs gold, and that's going to be my main problem uh, moving forward. Uh, but professional army gold cost of upgrading military units reduced by 33%, uh, which means that my army will cost, a, uh, you know, 60 per, 66%, you know, 33% less, 66% of what it would, would it normally cost. Uh, but I don't think I like the entire tree. Now, the thing is, if you adopt honor, you get a uh, 33% con combat bonus for barbarians, which is really good and, uh, gain culture for for the empire for each barbarian killed you can farm barbarians for culture i kind of like it um now do i like it enough yeah yeah let's go for it we're gonna farm us some barbarians all right so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to move up here make sure there's nobody around oh i can't because he already moved okay uh we, okay we need to do let's do archers uh because i'm gonna want uh archers to farm Barbarians for for culture. Okay, we just met China. Alright, I'm not gonna bother reading their crap. You know, on a pretty small map, or normal map, I mean that's smaller than I usually play on. Uh, I got a lot of room for expansion. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's nobody around here. Actually, there's a city state right there. All right, Budapest. Um, okay, so China wants to give me, wants to uh, wants an embassy, and she'll give me one gold per turn. Let's see if she'll give me two. Oops, gold per turn. How do I? How do I choose the amount of gold per turn? Um, there we go. It's a little buggy at the moment. Propose? Not good enough, huh? What would you propose? One gold per turn? Okay, whatever. Um, not really, not really scared of you. I don't, th I don't think China's usually a problem for me. Uh, although she does have some pretty good units, but that's okay. Alright, so we got a barbarian moving in our capital. Um, that's okay. That's fine. We're going to move our warriors back over here. And we're going to leave our worker. We just got the worker done, but the barbarians are a problem. So we're going to leave our worker in our capital. We could probably buy a unit. Uh, yeah, we could buy a warrior. We might want to do that.
Nah, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's make a war. This wants me to make another... Ooh, a caravan. Okay, so caravans for trade trade routes. This is new to me. So, establishes land-based trade routes between two civilizations that yield gold. Maybe that's why they nerfed the gold on the map, because they want you to make up for it caravans. Can also be used to deliver food or production within your own borders after building a grain area workshop. That's pretty cool. But we need a warrior. Actually, we really need a monument, but we need a warrior more. All right, next turn. Okay, so an enemy is near. Warsaw can shoot him, so shoot him, Warsaw. Now when the city shoots him... Oh, you still get the culture when the city shoots him. That's nice. I really like that. Now, I don't know if I want to bring these workers out of here, because I'm afraid barbarians are going to steal them. Uh, but I should be pretty safe up here, so we'll bring them up there. And you got to go right there and protect the city. And we need to choose research. Um, right, let's look at the technology tree. I'd like to move it into the classical era to get another policy. Uh, I'm not sure where I want to move. I should probably be looking at Wonders. Um, Stonehenge is okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. The Great Library. You get a Great Scientist Points. Uh, great Work of Writing Slots, too. I'm not sure what that means. You get a free technology. Mm. Pyramids are okay. Let's see. Yeah, Pyramids actually don't give you that much. Statue of Zeus. Requires on all units gain 50% combat when attacking cities. Okay, I am going to... I gotta plan out when I'm gonna go into the Classical Era. And what is most important when going into the Classical Era? Um... Oh, my, my special. Yeah, let's go for horseback riding. And we're gonna go through trapping the wheel and horseback riding. I don't know if that's the best way to go, but that's the way I'm gonna go. Okay, guys, my timer just went off, so that's going to be it for episode one. Uh, I'm quite excited about this Let's Play. I have a lot to learn. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are going to learn with me, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited to be playing this game. So that's going to be it for episode one, and I'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.